we're here at D-Lab, we're doing a follow-up video to that Precision Electronics Model S10 amplifier with the strange oscillating issue, okay? I know I use the word motorboating and you guys are saying, whoa, it doesn't sound like motorboating to me. Okay, whatever. It's got a problem and it appears as though it's related to the open winding on the output transformer, okay? I also have found an original socket to replace that mangle job that was done to this poor amp in the past. So that is already in the amp but it has not been wired. I have located a very nice vintage output transformer that has the same footprint as the existing one that's in the amp. So this will go into that amp. It only has an 8 ohm output though, not the multiple tap like the one that's in the amp. So let's cut to the amp. I'll show you where I'm at. We'll go from there. So first, let's cover the output transformer. Here's the original, still in place. Here is the replacement that will go in this spot. You can see it looks identical. However, this output transformer is a model 80-5031-1 that came out of a 1963 Silvertone model 4754 amp that also ran a pair of EL84s or 6BQ5s, whatever you want to call them. So I looked this thing up, it was made by a company called Schumacher, and it is a 606 series indicating somewhere around 1963. The transformer measures fine. I pulled this out of an amp many years ago. I must have had one of those silver tones here, but now it's going in there. Tube socket. You remember this socket right here was Mr. Scabaramus with a terrible wiring. That's history. I found an original type that was in there. I believe that this was made by Cinch. I'm going to get that guy soldered in, wire in the output transformer, and I'm not going to change anything else in the amp, and we'll see if that pop, pop, pop is gone. Okay, so I have the new output transformer and tube socket wired in. Now this is just temporary guys. I'm not about to leave things like this. It's a big mess. But I just want to see if the oscillation is gone and if the amp can actually amplify something. All right. So we have an audio generator right here as my input to the mic. We're going to bring it up on a Bariac to be safe. So I'm going to take my output all the way down. Got the Bariac on. Check the current, looks good. So here we go. The amp is on. Now right now the signal is turned all the way down, so I'm going to bring up my gain. You can hear the audio generator just kind of bleeding through. But there's no oscillation. Now let me bring this guy up a little bit. Check the tone control. So yes, the amp is now working again. Now remember it has a silver tone output transformer, so it's only going to have 8 ohm output. But that's the best I could do to get the amp back on its feet. So the oscillation's gone, so once again, I believe it's that output transformer. Now, now that I have it pulled out of circuit, right here, we're going to hook it up to the meter and check it again. So here we are. I got my wave tech set at 2K, full scale. I'm on the center tap of the output transformer, primary side. Let's go to the brown wire. Oops. There we go. About 147 ohms. Let's go to the blue. Nothing. Let's go brown to blue. Nothing. So the blue wire on that side of the output transformer is open somewhere. And no, it's not going to be a broken wire, it's going to be a popped winding. As for why that causes this funny popping oscillation, I don't know. But the problem solved. Well, mystery solved on what was causing that funny popping oscillation 
on the output of the Precision Amp. All right, so that's good news. The next thing that I want to do is get this amp wired to something useful. Like how about a cool little push-pull 6BQ5 guitar amp. So that'll be the next video in the series of the Precision S10. Hope this information was good for you. We'll keep it going.